really the last year of school when I had to decide what to do of my future. Uh, I was babysitting two kids because I've always been working aside from my study. And the father of these kids was a crazy scientist, was a physicist. And he said once a sentence that I think changed my life. So he said, like, a physicist is an artist who can draw. And I found myself described because I really wanted to draw. I really wanted to paint reality in some way, but I wasn't able to put together the colors or anything. So I thought, oh, maybe physics is interesting there. So that's what drove me there. Uh, and then a woman, at the very, I think two weeks after, a woman scientist, she came to to our school uh, and she was fascinating. So I went there to her and I said, wow, I'd really like to become like you. And she said, oh, why don't you come along to the physics department? So I went with two classmates of mine. Uh, and it, what I really liked when I was there that she was asking everybody, why do you think physics is beautiful? And you know, and people had like shiny eyes describing the research and they talked a lot about beauty. So I think it's really the idea of beauty that drove me to into science. So like the beginning of the universe, the high energy, the small things. So that's what is very nice, that there is a link between all parts of nature and they will talk to each other through this magic you know things of theoretical physics i think it's really cool all our questions about the universe what is the underlying theory for the building blocks of the universe and what are their main interactions these are the questions the large hadron collider at cern seeks to answer determining the structure of the proton to the highest level of precision which is what i do is crucial to answer this question. Exactly, that's what I care so much for. I'm director of studies here, and I think sometimes people struggle so much because they feel so much isolated, uh, and that's not good. Because you know, the idea that we have of the kind of lonely genius is who who finds everything by himself. I, I don't think it's real. Nobody's like that. A few people are like that, perhaps, but I'm not. You know. Uh, and everything I learned is because I discussed with somebody. Uh, you know, it, it was always by a relationship from somebody who I could learn from, somebody I could teach to, somebody I could share my experience with. I don't know. That's my experience. Perhaps the new physics is beyond the scale, the energy that we can reach now, but we can still see that through the little details of the calculation. So I'm pushed more and more to look, you know, at the kind of all the tiny deviation you might have because they can point to something very interesting that happens beyond the energy that we can reach at present. I think it's a good challenge that we have now. It's fascinating.